Well, as far as programming, I think that's the first, even for anime. I've never heard this before. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this program, hit that notification bell, and switch it to all, and you'll receive all of our notifications here on Cutiecast TV. So, we've been waiting for this, because unfortunately, I don't think Why the Last Man is any good. Uh, nothing like the original graphic novel co and comic. Um, the anime series World Ends Harem was supposed to have been released the past, last week. And about within 12 to 24 hours before release, the company mysteriously put a halt on it and said that it would be delayed until January of 2022. Now, supposedly, I think Japan got to see the first, maybe the first two episodes, one or two episodes of it. I may be wrong on that. I know definitely they saw, were able to see one at least, but uh, we haven't heard anything since then. Normally, you know, you would see it on the high seas, but it, at the time of this recording, uh, too early to say. But the what we've gotten, the information that we've gotten from the studio, and that happens to be Studio uh, Gupmumi, which... You know, a lot of the stuff that I've seen on on there, maybe one or two I, two series I've heard of. Everything else, I've never heard of before. But hey, there's a lot of anime out there that you know I'm still catching up to. You know, stuff from 10, 15 years ago. But according to the studio that, and also the companies that were supposed to air this, including Funimations. Uh, the production is being closely examined. Now, what the hell does that mean? What does that truly mean? I mean, because basically, how can we put it? Was there an issue with the production itself as the animation on that? Or was it the content? Or just basically, maybe... It, the editing or anything of that that nature was wasn't looking good at all for it. We don't know because we haven't even seen we haven't seen one minute of this program other than trailers. And if you're not familiar with World um, Worlds and Harem, uh, basically it is similar to similar to the plot of Why the Last Man. Uh, the world um, mostly. Uh, pretty much all the men in the world uh, die out and basically the ones that remain uh, they're being sought off by women so they'd be able to re uh, procreate the species now in the case of this one uh, the main character Mitsuhara Ridu has been in a cryogenic sleep for five years uh, leaving behind the girl of his dreams, uh, Tachibana Irisi. And when he awakens, he, um, the world has become a sex-crazed new world where he finds himself uh, the, the, re the most precious resource needed. Um, Rico and four other male uh, studs are given the lives of luxury and one simple mission to repopulate the world by impregnating as many women as possible. Yes, yes, I know it sounds like uh, a couple of other series on there. Um, but hey, listen, let me tell you something. I, I was interested to see this and see how far they're going to go with this series. But for it to get delayed within hours, hours, I've never, I've never maybe i might be wrong tell me in the comments i mean even in regular american broadcast um television i've heard a movie a, a movie getting pulled there was um disney film many years ago a watcher in the woods that got pulled the first and i kid you not on this you can look this up this movie got pulled within the first week of released sent back 
and the edit ending re-edited and then re-released back into theaters. Stuff like that I've heard of, but for broadcast television, I've never heard of a delay for anything like this within within hours of the broadcast. I hope it's not toward that they're going to censor this because that would be a shame that this is coming out of Japan this way or did the western western companies want it this um, censored, which that would be wrong as well. I mean, you know, the thing that gets me and when it comes down to, and this is, this is why, this is why companies like Sony and Funimations and Crunchyroll need to go. They, they need, they, uh, Japan needs not to do business with these companies anymore, even though Sony is a Japanese company, but you see what they're doing with, even with gaming on the censorship that's going on on their end on that. You know, they don't mind the shit that's like in Last of Us 2. Fuck Naughty Dog. Uh, but, uh, it, you know, stuff that comes out of Japan directly, that you know, they're going to directly censor. You know, we have companies like uh, Right Stuff who are currently uh, going to Kickstarter to fix and dub, you know, give us dubs of Japanese anime that has never been dubbed before. Now, the Dirty Pair, in that case, the OVAs were dubbed, but the TV series wasn't. And they went to Kickstarter because they're going to be putting out a new box set of everything of the series Dirty Pair. They were pledged to do 275000 They blew that in a couple of days. At the time of this re recording, there's about maybe 20 days left, 2021. Um, they've blown it. It's like $350,000 they've already done. They're on their way to 400000 which is fantastic. I mean, they, they get, they're going to give a lot of extra great stuff uh, to this. I mean, they got a lot of stretch goals. In fact, one of the stretch goals, because they've reached uh, their stretch goal, they, they hit that three, three uh, is that they're going to be doing commentary and stuff like that. If they hit that 375, they're going to get a 5.1 audio track, which would be really nice. It would be really nice if they can do this in a, concerning with the opening music and everything like that, that they'll be able to remaster it. But to get back to World's Harem and World's End Harem, you know, we hope that they don't butcher this. We really, truly don't. Be, you know, because basically, like I said, there are companies like... Uh, Right stuff that are trying to do right with the fans. And then there are companies like Funimations that basically want to interject their politics into that. And especially like that, you remember what happened, you know, with Redo the Healer. We know, you know what happened with a lot of other animes, uh, Goblin Slayer and um, Rise of the Shield Hero. Rise of the Shield Holder has been delayed for another year until next year. And uh, it, 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 it amazes me. It amazes me something new happens every day. When you just think that the worst of the worst has happened, that, you know, something else begins to occur. So you've reached this part of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.